local people, important issues. CBS 10 WILM's weekly focus on the Lower Cape Fear region. This is Byline Wilmington with your host, Don Ansel. Welcome and good morning. Well, she won the Miss USA title, became part of a major news story, and after a whirlwind of activity is back in her hometown where she's been honored with a series of high profile events, Miss USA Kristen Dalton is back with us on Byline to talk about it all. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, how you doing? I'm, it's uh, been quite good. a weekend. It's or been, a week, actually. I know, it's been crazy, but I just got refueled with some good food from Henry's, <laughs> some Diet Coke, so I'm all good to go. <laughs> All right, so the last time you were here, you were getting ready uh, for Vegas. You were going there to win, yes, which you sir. were very intent on. Yes. <laughs> uh, winning the title, and you did. Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, what's the whole thing been like? I mean, it really, it, it's been a completely different experience, something completely different than I've ever had before. Um, I moved to New York City the very next day which was very exciting. It was kind of bittersweet. Um, even though I had envisioned it, you can never really be fully prepared to just say bye to your mom yeah, and your like sister. Your whole life changed in just, just an instant. It really did. And you know, when people say that, you're like, yeah, yeah, no, not really. But it really, it really absolutely did, 100%. Um, so they were walking me out to the limousine that was waiting for me to take me to the airport. It, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God, I'm leaving. Like I have all my bags and they're stopping. There's your family. And I'm going and they're not coming with me and I'm about to move into a new apartment in New York City and my mom's not coming. This is the first, I'm going with people I don't know. Right. I don't know these people, so about to make new friends. <laughs> all right, so when you were in Vegas, how many, uh, how many contestants were there in a room like? It, I mean, you, you had hotel rooms, right? Yes. You didn't I, each have a room, right? No, no, I had one roommate. My roommate was Miss Florida. We were very compatible. We got along really, Did really you? great. So, absolutely. So, we understood that after a long day, it was time to be quiet and relax. And we both hit the hit the sack pretty early. How, how competitive was it backstage? Actually, you know, I really have to say that this was just the most genuine group of girls. I mean, we had so much fun together. I really formed a lot of friendships. Yeah. I mean, we were also supportive of each other. I mean, even when they were calling out in the top 15, the top 10, and the top five, we're all like hugging each other, like, yay, we made it together. I mean, it was great. We were, I mean, it was so much fun. So there really wasn't a whole lot of um, venom going on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, there was this whole big news story uh, with Miss California and the infamous answer to the Perez Hilton uh, Prop 8 question. W were you surprised that that story took off the way it did? Um, yeah, I was because I thought that the politically toned questions were very appropriate and you know, I welcome those kind of questions and I think that we were kind of prepared for those kind of questions and when the question was asked, I was like, it's a fair question. I've been asked that probably five times in my pageant career, so <laughs> you know, I have a I have very organized thoughts on the issue and Carrie says that she does too. She says that she answered from her heart and she's proud of that. So I really, I personally didn't see what the, the big issue was. Did it bother you that the media kept saying that she lost because of the answer when, if you watch the pageant, that we know that wasn't true. We right. know you had one swimsuit, you had one evening gown. Mm -hmm. And uh, your answer to the first question, which was, uh, what is beauty to you? And you said, it's how you treat other people. Mm -hmm. Uh, was a great answer. Did it bother you that the media kept focusing on that's why California lost when it wasn't true? Um, no, because I know and the people that I care about know that I, I won on my own credentials and that's all that matters to me. I mean, I'm Miss USA. I'm the one who's living in the Midtown of Manhattan apartment and no one can take that away from me. I'm here for the long haul, so. And at least a year. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you think all the controversy has uh, changed the profile of the Miss USA system? Uh, it's, it's very relevant, became very relevant. Right. Um, yeah, that's what Donald Trump says. He says, you know, this is what makes pageantry relevant. Um, I don't really think that it changed the profile because we've had some scandals in the past. Um, this wasn't so, really a scandal. It was just... Yeah, not really. Just, just controversy. So, High profile um, controversy. Yeah, and no, actually, I think that it... 
I think that it shows um, girls that we're not we're not told what to say, we're not programmed, and that um, the Miss Universe organization really does encourage you to vocalize your personal opinions, and they do encourage you to be real women. Uh, have you met Donald Trump? Yes, I have. I met him before the pageant, directly after. I took some photos with him on stage, and um, and then I had an official meeting with him in his office. How'd that I go? I met his daughter, Ivanka, who yeah. I so admire. I think yeah. she's so beautiful, and she was so nice. Was she? So nice. Um, and then his son, Donald Trump Jr., uh -huh. who was also a judge. So. so, let's get back to the pageant just for a minute. It was down to you and, and, and Miss California. And those final moments, did you think you were gonna, it was going to be you? I was hoping. I mean, I was really holding my breath. But I think at that moment, you just kind of have, like, a feeling. Um, but then when, it, when he said the first runner-up is K California, I was like, oh, my gosh, you know, I just won. Um, it, so it, it was, registered right away. I mean, you knew right away. Well, it's like I when mean, they, it, was still, it was still surreal, and it was a shock. But... Whenever I like kind of thought about it, I just like started screaming because I just it like just couldn't even register. I was like, "Oh my god!" What goes through? I I don't know if you can even remember what goes through your mind at that moment when you realize this has happened. This this is a dream that's come true. I don't really think anything was going through my mind. I think I was just like, "Could you see? <laughs> could you see your folks from?" from the yes, state? you could. Um, I saw my family and my friends. They all had. Um, signs that said North Carolina. We saw them. We saw them. <laughs> so Cameras I was pans. definitely looking at them like <laughs> um, and waving at all of them, but I don't know. I was just. Is that, is, did you, when, when you finally, when you realized that it, it's you, did you, did you look, did you look up, at, did you look at them? Yeah, definitely. You did? Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, I'll tell you, we'll take a little break okay. and we'll come back. Sounds good. And talk more to. Miss USA, she's going to the Miss Universe uh, pageant in August in Nassau, the Bahamas, right? Yes. Yeah, so we'll be right back. Stay with us.